Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything. I'm coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be assembling uh, Gates of Antares Transmat Pad Set. Uh, this is about a 5x8 card. It's not a full size 8.5 by 11, you know, like their normal buildings. Uh, but there should be like five Transmat pads. Well, I count six right there. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. All right, so here's the Transmat pad instructions. It looks like there's these three right here are the three sets that I have. I have the Transmat pad. I have a Transmat station. I also have the kinetic barriers. And come back to this channel and watch me assemble each of these and do a review. It says Warlord Games, Gates of Antares, but this is actually produced by... Sarissa Precision. Okay, there's no real instructions other than A and B. Okay, so let's... Okay, we got cardstock with the patterns drawn in them or cut in them with a laser. Simple enough. Trash. And then these are the MDF boards of the Transmat pads. They pop out super easy, except for that one. Okay, that's kind of a cool little thing. It's all trash. Okay, so now we're looking at a circle on the top, and I'm assuredly this Transmat pad will line up every other ball or circle with the these, and then every other one will have a cutout. Yeah, every other one will have a cutout. And then that little circle inside will be on the inside. Okay, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use Aileen's Tacky Glue. If you've been a follower of my channel, you already know. You just already know. Okay, and we put it around the outer edge. I'm going to kind of stroke it from the inside out because I want to make sure that there's enough glue around the outer edge where all the pieces would stick and that we don't need a whole lot of glue on the inside. Lay it down, maneuver it into position. And apply a little bit of pressure. Normally I have some wax paper here, but this time I didn't think I needed it. I didn't think I was going to have a ton of uh, parts and pieces. Make sure all the pressure and that's it. I mean, it's that simple. And basically, you just do that again for all of these. Now, you could do it just the opposite way, and that's put the glue on the cardstock itself. Right? That way, when you're moving the glue around, you're not getting it on that inner circle. Make sure all the outer and inner edges are covered. And that way when you flip it around and you place it on the transmat pad, the MDF that is, you don't get any glue inside the cuts of the inner circle. Because when you go to paint it, 
if there's any glue inside there, it might prevent any washes or whatever we're using from going down in those cracks. So putting it on the cardboard is actually probably a smarter move. Okay, let me finish all these and I'll be right back. All right, so now here are your six transmat pads and uh, once they dry, it's gonna dry clear. One reason why I use PVA style glue is because it soaks into the cardstock, but it also soaks into the MDF and it has a good adherence. Plus, PVA will actually dry clear. Uh, I use Aileen's because um, a traditional PVA will have a higher water percentage and when you have like a Elmer's glue or a PVA that's mostly water, it could cause the cardstock or paper to shrink or fold or curl. And so um, I use Aileen's because it's got less liquid in it or less water, I should say, to cause it to curl. So those guys are ready to go. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking this video out. If you want to see more Sarissa Precision Buildings, check out my playlist. And if you uh, want to see more Gates of Antares videos, check out my Gates of Antares playlist. So I have a Sarissa Precision Buildings playlist. I also have a Gates of Antares playlist. And uh, I'll see you next time.